Welcome to this video on using absorption spectroscopy for studying kinetic reactions. The reaction we will use is this apparently simple one between the dye, malachite green, and hydroxide ions. We see from the reaction that the result of this reaction is to form a colourless carbonyl compound. Therefore, the overall reaction results in the disappearance of the green colour of the reactant. We can watch this happen in real time so as to get an idea of what the spectrometer is measuring. On the right hand side there is a solution of malachite green diluted to half with water. On the left hand side equal volumes of malachite green and sodium hydroxide solution are mixed. After mixing the camera is recording the change in colour of the mixture. This is sped up here for convenience. The actual time was over the course of several minutes. Experimentally then we can use absorption spectroscopy by monitoring the change in intensity of the colour of the dye as the reaction proceeds. We first need to find the wavelength that the dye absorbs at. This can be obtained by acquiring a spectrum of the, across the visible region. Once the spectrum runs we can identify the wavelength at maximum absorption. We choose this wavelength for monitoring using a kinetic scan as this will best reflect the changes in intensity of colour as the hydrolysis reaction proceeds. To study the reaction, we will add equal volumes of malachite green and hydroxide. This is e easily achieved using pipettes. Remember with these pipettes that to draw in the liquid you push down to the point of first resistance, to eject you push firmly down all the way. Mix in the two reagents at the same time to ensure good mixing. Place the cap on and place into the spectrometer. The sample cell is the one closest to you. Once you close the lid, you can quickly begin your kinetic scan. You will notice the kinetic trace. This is monitoring the decrease in absorption and hence reflecting the change in concentration at the wavelength of maximum absorption over time as the malachite green is hydrolyzed to the carbonyl. Extract your data for, for analysis before finishing up. Dispose of any waste malachite green in the waste canister provided. It is toxic to aquatic life. 